Full range of Morimoto projectors carries a number of benefits compared to their competition. Whether we're looking at a different kind of aftermarket projector or original equipment projectors, TRS also carries them. It's not really much of a surprise though that the Morimoto projectors really outsell them by a good margin for a variety of reasons. Things like the standard clear lenses that come on every one of these projectors help to make sure that they're, pro that they're producing their maximum amount of light output with a super sharp and crisp cutoff line. They also have super high precision castings and advanced optics that all combine to put the most light on the road. The other thing that makes these more popular than others is their ease of installation. Everything from the Matchbox, the Mini H1, to the Mini D2S actually install basically with little to no cutting at all. And especially compared to something like a factory Infinity projector, all of the Morimoto projectors, no matter which one you're looking at, don't have all this extra heft that you're going to have to cut off before you go to retrofit it into your headlight. So looking at everyone individually from smallest to largest, the Matchbox comes with the threaded shaft, super easy to install, has the standard clear lens, generally comes with a flat cutoff shield because they're most appropriate for use in a fog light retrofit because of their tiny size, and takes H1 bulbs. Now, even though this projector is so small, it actually has a bi-xenon solenoid giving it a high beam functionality. So even if you don't put it in a fog light, you could use it in a regular headlight and have full high and low capability, even with the matchbox. Mini H1 is the next projector in the lineup and undoubtedly the most popular one. This is the sixth generation projector. It's already been around for a couple years and it's super well known because of its ease of installation and has the threaded shaft on the back allows you to put it in your headlight really easily with the threaded lockering to help it clamp onto the stock reflector, curved cutoff shield, and the clear lens. So even though this projector is still pretty compact, it produces a ton of light output, especially given how easy it is to install and that kind of stuff. The Mini D2S is the next one in the range, a little bit bigger in size compared to the Mini H1, but then actually takes standard, industry standard D2S bulbs. So you have a much wider range of bulb availability for these projectors, the Mini D2S 3.0. This one, you actually got a die cast cutoff shield, which is actually inspired by a lot of modern Hella projectors. Also comes with the clear lens and uh, about the most modern optics uh, that we've ever come out with in any projector. So this thing produces even more light than the Mini H1. Also very easy to install because of the threaded shaft and has a huge variety of bulb options available for it. Next to that is the FXR 3.0. This is the two and a half inch lens version of the 3.0. There's also a three inch lens which helps to give it a little bit, uh, you know, bigger size inside of a headlight. That kind of fills it up a little bit more. Now the FXR does not have the threaded mounting shaft like the three projectors I just spoke about. It has a more traditional shaft, uh, also uses D2S bulbs. Um, so you might be asking, you know, why use the FXR instead of these because it's not as easy to install. Well, the fact is, is that the FXR is still pretty much top of the totem pole in terms of performance. It's really hard to beat. Tons of light output, super wide, super bright, very uniform. Of course, also has a clear lens, standard. So the FXR, I mean, has is, is, is really been around for a long time and for good reason. Now, the least common of all is the Evo XR projectors. Uh, this one is also based off of a Hella design has the standard clear lens, does not use a threaded mounting shaft, is a bi-xenon, so has the high and low beam capability. And this projector really is most common, uh, most popular for use as swaps into headlights that did not originally have xenon projectors. For example, there's a ton of cars out there, a lot of Europeans especially, that come with standard Hella H7 halogen-based projectors, but they share the same exact bolt pattern as the Evo XR, and therefore, you can take out the old one, put in this one, and there's virtually no retrofitting work to do. That's the main benefit of the Evo XR. No matter which Morimoto projector you're looking at, you're going to want to make sure that you get them in the original equipment, black and blue boxes with the hologram. What that means is that the projector has been quality controlled, and everything inside the projector has been inspected, and is guaranteed to perform just the way that it was designed.